Hold on a second, I got a question. Aren't you supposed to be Jamaican? What happened to your accent? <laughs> Hello, wrestling fans. I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And you're in the right place. This is Wrestle Trivia, where you're about to face 25 questions over five rounds that gets harder and harder as we play this game. That's what your mother said last night. <laughs> so grab a pen and paper and let's check out the categories you'll be quizzed on in this episode. Films about pro wrestling. Followed by Express Tag Teams. Next up, we have Kofi Mania. And then we tackle the gridiron with some college football All-Americans. And our fifth and final category, as suggested by at Mario Alonzo 1977, about potentially having a potent potables category. I think it's a great idea, so we're gonna go with repackaged wrestlers once again. And that's how it means it's time to play the game, so let's kick things off with the 200-point jobber round. Can you answer all five of these beginner questions correctly, or will you totally embarrass yourself? Jeff, oh, oh no! Oh my god! All right, here we go. Films about pro wrestling. The relationships among the Von Erich family, including brothers Kevin, David, Carrie, and Mike, are at the core of this 2023 biopic starring Zac Efron. And that would be, what is the Iron Claw? And that brings us to Express Tag Teams for 200. What was the Express Tag Team name of beautiful Bobby Eaton and sweet Stan Lane? Of course, one of my favorite tag teams of all time, managed by Jim Cornette, who were the Midnight Express. And we're moving on to Kofi Mania for 200. At WrestleMania 35, Kofi defeated Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship with this finishing maneuver. And that would be, what is... And we're on to College Football All-Americans for 200. This wrestler was a first-team All-American in 1979 and 1980, where he was a defensive linebacker for Florida State University. And the answer, who is Ron Simmons? And let's close out the 200-point job around with repackaged wrestlers. Rocky Maivia was repackaged into this wrestler in 1997. You smell it, I smell it, we all smell it. The correct answer, who is The Rock? All right, so how many answers did you get correct? One, two, all five. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's all in good fun, and that's exactly what Wrestle Trivia is all about. Ooh, yeah. Let's kick off the 400-point round. Films about pro wrestling. In the 1999 documentary Beyond the Mat, meme icon and avid trampoline jumper Dennis Stamp gained some cult popularity with this phrase. And the correct answer, I'll let Dennis uh, deliver this one to you. Are you coming to the show Thursday night? Uh, no, no, I won't be. Why not? I'm not booked. Because I'm not booked. I'm not going to be here, Terry, because I'm not booked. Yes, I'm not booked. R.I.P. Dennis Stamp. And we're on to Express Tag Teams for 400 what was the name of the Express tag team of Dennis Condry and Randy Rose? Come on, you knew I had to throw you this curveball. Tell me when I tell a lie. Hopefully you got it right. The correct answer once again, who were the Midnight Express? And that brings us to Kofi Mania for 400. Heading into this 2019 pay-per-view, Mustafa Ali went down with an injury and was replaced by Kofi. Uh -oh. 
What is the Elimination Chamber? And moving on to college football All-Americans for four. This wrestler was a second team All-American in 1977 and played offensive guard for the University of Colorado. I'm sure Coach Prime would have loved to have had Leon White, a.k.a. Big Van Vader manning the trenches. And let's close out the 400-point round with repackaged wrestlers. Walter was repackaged into this wrestler in 2022. And that would be the Ring General, who is Gunther. All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go. So we're going to the 600-point round. But don't expect any freebies. These questions are tough, and you'll still need to be on your A game if you want to get them right. And that brings us to films about pro wrestling for six. This controversial third-generation wrestler was the stunt double for actress Florence Pugh in the 2019 film Fighting With My Family. Produced by The Rock, Fighting With My Family was about Paige, or Soraya Knight, and her wild and crazy British family. But the stunt double in this movie was none other than Tessa Blanchard. And that brings us to Express Tag Teams for six. What was the name of the Express Tag Team of Brad Armstrong and Tim Horner? A classic WCW NWA tag team. Tim Horner's nickname was White Lightning, so they were called the Lightning Express. And we're on to Kofi Mania for six in a gauntlet match to determine who would get the coveted final entry in the aforementioned Elimination Chamber. Kofi was eliminated by this wrestler. And that would be who is the phenomenal AJ Styles. And we're moving on to college football All Americans for 600. <laughs> it's the daily double in the category college football All Americans. So think about all the wrestlers who have strapped on helmets and jock straps during their college football careers and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here's the Daily Double clue. This wrestler was a second team All-American in 1982 and 1983 while playing defensive tackle for the University of Miami, Ohio. Once considered too small to play football, Brian Pillman was a standout defensive lineman and even won the Mid-American Conference Defensive Player of the Year in 1983. All right, let's close out the 600-point uh, round with repackaged wrestlers. The one-man gang was repackaged into this wrestler in 1988. And that would be, who is Akeem, the African Dream? <laughs> and we're on to the 800-point round. You're going to need to know your facts, your figures, and your trivia if you want to ace this round. Brother! Kicking things off with films about pro wrestling for eight. Two dimwit sewage workers watch their hero, Jimmy King, get screwed out of the world title by Diamond Dallas Page and this fictional owner of WCW in Ready to Rumble. Played by the great Joe Pantoliano, the correct answer, who is Titus Sinclair? And that brings us to Express Tag Teams for 800. What was the name of the Express Tag Team of Elijah Akeem and Kareem Muhammad. They were called the Zambui Express. And moving on to Kofi Mania for eight. 
At the 20th anniversary of SmackDown, Brock Lesnar beat Kingston in this many seconds to win the WWE title and end Kofi's championship reign at 180 days. Still makes me mad to this day that Lesnar beat Kofi in exactly eight seconds. And we're on to college football, All-Americans for 800. This wrestler was a first team All-American in 1979, playing defensive tackle for the University of Texas Longhorns. Recently inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame, the correct answer, who is Steve Mongo McMichael. And let's finish up the 800 point round with repackaged wrestlers. Mordecai was repackaged into this wrestler in 2006. And that would be when EC Dub became WWE C Dub. They went to the Sci Fi Network and they needed a vampire character. And that was Mordecai as he became Kevin Thorne. Wait, maybe we're gonna bite each other or something. What the hell is this? And here it comes. The steel cage begins to lower. The ominous music begins to play. If you think you're a diehard wrestling fan, this round is designed to put your knowledge to the test. So get those thinking caps on and let's kick off the thousand point round with films about pro wrestling. In the 1987 comedy Body Slam, these two mohawked wrestlers formed the villainous tag team known as the Cannibals. This hidden gem of a movie had a ton of recognizable wrestlers, including the evil cannibals played by the Barbarian and the Mighty. He draw Cotton the Great! <laughs> He's able to run the 40-yard dash in 3.5 seconds! And we're on two Express Tag Teams for 1,000. What was the name of the Express Tag Team of Kenny King and Rhett Titus from Ring of Honor? Under the tutelage of Austin Aries in ROH, the naturally blessed athlete Kenny King meshed very well with an improving Rhett Titus as the tag team known as the All Night Express. Now we're moving on to the thousand point clue from Kofi Mania. Kofi's historic victory included additional accomplishments, such as becoming the first African-born WWE Champion and the 20th WWE wrestler to achieve this distinction. Kofi's victory at WrestleMania was the culmination, culmination of an 11 year journey where Kingston became just the 20th WWE wrestler to become a Grand Slam champion. And that brings us to college football All-Americans for a thousand. This wrestler was a first team All-American in 1929 playing fullback for the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers. While playing for the NFL in the late 1930s, Bronco Nagurski used his great athletic skills to become a huge star, holding the NWA title five times during his pro wrestling career. And let's close out the board with repackaged wrestlers for a thousand. Terry Power was repackaged into this wrestler in 1998. And the correct answer here, who is Tori? All right, don't go anywhere. It's final Jeopardy time, but I think we're gonna start calling it the main event. So let's go check out and see what the category for this episode is. Wrestling home videos. Despite the recent influx of streaming, pro wrestling home videos have been a mainstay for decades. However, after 36 years of making home videos, the WWE announced that DVD and Blu-ray production would end. All right, now it's time to place your wager. Are you gonna go all in or are you gonna bet it all? You have to, it's not real money. Just push all your chips to the middle, bet it all and see what happens.
All right, time is up. Here is the main event clue. Near the end of 2005, and with the VCR well on its way to extinction, the WWE released their final VHS tape with this pay-per-view. Good luck. Released on September 20th, 2005, this pay-per-view was headlined by the infamous Icon vs. Legend showdown between Shawn Michaels and Hulk Hogan that became more of a spectacle than a wrestling match. The correct answer, what is SummerSlam 2005? Thanks for playing Wrestle Trivia, and I'd love to read all about your scores in the comments below. Did you learn something or anything new? And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more wrestling content like this. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.